Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Panthers Franchise. Last episode, I told you guys we'd be facing the Falcons, and I also told you that our boy, Josh Buchanan, was going to become a star really quickly. Well, I was taking a look at the stats in between videos here, and notice he has 12 sacks right now on the season. He is leading our team by far. That is nuts. So I get the feeling that this breakout DL is probably going to be him. So let's see if I'm correct in saying such a thing. Ooh, Milton Williams instead. Wait. Hold him to less than 100. Get a tackle, a forced fumble, tackle for loss, or a sack. We could have a star Milton Williams. I dig it. I dig it. I, 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 I like that prospect there. So weekly strategy-wise, guys, I'm going to be honest. It's going to be... Defending that inside zone against that inside run. I cannot let him gash me in between the numbers. I just can't let him do it. Bijan will kill me otherwise. And then we are going to try to throw it short and just get him. Just get him. So, um, that's what we got right now, guys. Let's hop, hop right into the... Uh, training here and then see what all up upgrades we have. Alright, so we got Puka Nakua getting an upgrade, DJ Reed Jr. getting an upgrade, Malik Forbes getting an upgrade, Javon Kimlaw and Derek Knight. So there is a huge amount of upgrades and we love to see all of it right now. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's going to be interesting here real quick. Let's look at the injury report really quickly before we hop in the game. None for us. Hopefully the Falcons have a few. Hopefully the Falcons have a few. Bijan's out. Bijan's out with a PCL strain. We got a shot, ladies and gentlemen, at the number one seed right now. At least the division title. This could be ours. Let's get right into it. All right, defense needs help, so let's get it. Let's get right into it here. They're at the 15-year line. Oh, boy. Oh, even with Bijan gone, we're going to get absolutely creamed. I can tell already. So Kyle Pitts, I got to watch him. Got a nice hit stick on him, but they didn't do anything. Five for six right now. Desmond Ritter is killing me. All right, 60 out Jack is the call out of goal line here. Just trying to stop the... Oh, my God. He had a free shot. Oh, good job to Algier and that offense. That... We gave, we gave it up. Defense needs help because we gave it right back to him. Oh, that's tough. That's tough, guys. Um, I mean, we, we're not starting off right at all, obviously, but we're going to try to do something to make it better for us I get I guess I mean I don't know what else to really say or do about that oh, I never did anything with that so we're gonna be on Bobby Wagner here oh, get to him get to him oh, okay mm, threw it away we were right on him too we were right on his butt All right, we're coming out uh, cover four, or cover three, out of four three. He goes with the screen and gets a great, gets great blocks on that. Damn it. All right, saw a blitz, uh, pinching the line right now and crashing the line. If this was Madden Ultimate Team, that would have been picked. Alright, finally we get a red zone alert. Oh my goodness. Um, Alright. QB zone to check. Oh my god, we are... 
Trouble seeing deeper wide receivers. All right, so we know that's why going across, but we had so much pressure. It was ridiculous. Oh, we've thrown two picks today, too. I, You know, the efficiency that Young has had over the course of this season has been, I, I've been extremely happy with. This I'm not happy with. Wow, we are getting bagged. Like, this is horrifying how bagged we're getting because if this is what Atlanta is right now, I don't want to see what they're going to be like in a few years. Um, oh, come on. I just need a little more time. Just that little extra time to let A get open. I wasn't taking that for granted because obviously I missed one last time. We'll take our three points. Hey, we got ourselves the ball back. Why are we... Why is momentum still in their favor, though, so horrifyingly? It should not be. Get that out of here. All right, I'm coming out in double mug, pinching the inside line, but going on a um, contain, cover three. He dropped it, perfect. Dropped it, which makes me happy, which means they got three out of it, which is fine. We'll try to drive down the field, get ourselves at bare minimum. Three points. Ming. Oh, that's Forbes. That is Forbes that came across. I forgot I got him back. Forgot we got our guy Malik Forbes back. So that's a very good welcome back, sir. Oh, God. Oh, God. I seen. Yep. 88. Get that. We got to take the time out there. I, I seen the pressure just all of a sudden just collapse on top, and I'm like, ah, nope, we are not taking that sack. I mean, I could have gotten the first, but I was really trying to get the yards. Oh, okay, we're going to come out and flood out of tight doubles here. And try to hit... Oh my god, that is the worst ever. My own guys pick each other. We're going to come out stick. Try to get the first here. I mean, we need to get points. We can't just... Oh, Forbes. Go, buddy. Great call. It's a great call to go for it. By me, not by the coach. So what did they come out with? It must have came in like a man blitz. And just Forbes beat his man. I think that's Okuda that he beat. Right. Big field goal, apparently. Uh, yeah, it's 4th and 15. We're definitely not going for it here. Take our three, go up by three against the defending Super Bowl champs. That's big to remember is that these Falcons are the defending Super Bowl champions. It's not like they're scrubs. Third down alert. We still hit. We got the ball back. And we're driving again. Oh, this is wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that's not wonderful. We're going to go to the fourth, though. All right, fourth down alert. They do want us to go for it. We are going to go for it here um, with wide drive out. 
So I want Mango to come on a slant, but I want him to come from the slant, uh, from the outside position, and we'll keep Warren in as a buffer. And that is why, because Nakua was going to come wide open there. Nakua, six catches for 91 yards or something like that. Did you guys see that? That is beautiful. Warren, get us 12 for 20. Jeez, we can't. We can't run the ball on them to save our lives right now. That is frustrating, to say the least. Warren, get get you some. There you go. Twenty. We're we're only twentieth ranked. Huh. Didn't realize that. All right, here we go. Yeah, uh, we're gonna just yeah we're just gonna take that, <laughs> walk right in. That, ladies and gentlemen, puts us up by two scores. So it's a big end of the game drive now, and now it doesn't come down to we have to score. We have to run this clock out. So I'm gonna put it on two clock here after this, but I'm gonna stretch to the outside. To the left side here. Let the block set up. Get the first there. We love to see that. All right, we're on two clock now. Um, I'm gonna come out wing set mountain power. Uh, so Matthews is the one that's gonna go on the motion here. Get some nice pulls from our guys. And take us to the two minute warning. We're grinding it out, guys. We're gonna grind this out. Come out RPO zone flat. Uh, if the flat comes open, I'm going for it. And it doesn't, so Warren's gonna get the call again and get us the first. I'm going to be that crazy guy. I'm going to go for a slip screen here. Why? Because I can. Get him for that. Get some yards. Five yards. We have to use a timeout. We're going to go RPO alert bubble here. For the game. Warren's going to get the first. There we go. That's what we needed. And we can kneel this game out. We, we can go. kneel it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all at the stats because that is the end of this game. All right, guys, take a look at the player stats. So Bryce Young did throw two interceptions really early in the game, but he bounced back, had a fantastic sec, uh, really second quarter to the end of the game. It's It seemed like he did a whole lot better. It seemed like he did a whole lot better. 17 completions for 20 out uh, of 28 attempts. 60% uh, completion rating is still not great. Uh, Desmond Ritter had a little bit better, but not by much. Um, and Rice ended up making what you know better for it with 270 yards and two touchdowns. Our longest being the 50 yarder, I believe, to Malik Forbes. Uh, now uh, Tyler Algier did great. Um, however, he did what he did not put up. Uh, Bijan Robinson numbers 22 attempts off of 72 yards. We had a little bit better with off of 20 attempts, we had 73 yards and a tutty. So there is that. Uh, Kyle Pitts did okay. Puka Nakua dominated along with Jalen Warren and Malik Forbes. We obviously just overall our team played fantastic on the off offensive side of the ball with the exception of the two interceptions. Now, on our end, Panthers wise, Josh McCain had another two sacks. He had another two sacks. Uh, Milton Williams had a tackle for loss, so he's going to get our star development, along with the fact that I believe they had less than 100 yards uh, rushing. Yep, they had 77, so we are we, we did great 
on that front there. Um, I mean, a, a sack and a half for Sam Hubbard, another sack for Chase Young, uh, a, an interception for Duggar and for DJ Reed Jr. We are we are flying. We should be the number one seed in the NFC South at, at the end of this. I, I hope at least we are. I hope we are. We played well enough to get there. Bill Williams is going to get that upgrade right here. Uh, we're going to put it in his power rush because um, I need him to absolutely dominate on that side of the ball. So, as of right now, it says he's not a star, but we have to uh, look at our breakout message here. And says, and he says, roll up the red carpet because I have arrived. Did you see me out there, Coach? I am an anchor on this defense, man. That he will be an anchor on our defense for a long time coming. I'm glad we made the move to get him. We are 12 and four now, and they're they're going to be leading us. I think they I think the strength of schedule or whatever the heck, uh, and it, it's giving them that little boost above us. But next week we play the 49ers. Um, 49ers are currently 10 and six. Uh, we will, I think we'll be playing this, because if I'm looking at the playoff picture right now, they are the number three seed, we are the number five seed. So I want to see, it might be a preview. It might be a preview. We have to win this in order to have a shot at that bye week right now. Next time you, I mean, next time we play uh, in two episodes time, it could be the NFC Divisional game instead of the Wild Card game. We'll find out here. Um, it, it, it's a close race right now. We love the we love the pressure, though. We love the pressure. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. We are on that road, like I said, to 100 subscribers. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thank you all so much. Peace.